Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and my name is Matthew Conger and you're watching The Small Chef 11. So today we're going to be making a chicken marcellus and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's not very complicated, you know, a lot of people think it's very hard to make but it's not. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here I have my sliced mushrooms, I have minced onion and garlic in here, heavy cream, salt and pepper, and my chicken breast. So if you want to know how much of everything is there, check out in the description down below. And let's get started. So with your chicken breast, you want to salt and pepper it. Make sure you do both sides. And my salt and pepper mixture is 75% salt and 25% pepper. Flip it over, do the other side. All right, after you season your chicken, you're gonna to wanna to heat up your saute pan. All right, guys, so now we have our pan over here. What you wanna put in this is clarified butter. Now, what clarified butter is, is when you take the butter and you separate the milk solids out of it. So what you have to do is you gotta heat it up in a separate pan, either let it, number one, burn to the bottom of the pan, or number two, let it separate and you just skim off the top. And I did the burning method. So I took my butter and I let it burn to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but there's stuff at the bottom of the pan. That's just the milk solids. And when we saute today, we're gonna be using this butter. All right, so now that our pan has gotten hot enough, I'm gonna add my butter to it. You don't wanna add a whole lot to it. Just enough to saute your chicken with. Now, if you don't clarify your butter, what will happen is it will burn to the bottom of the pan and burn your chicken. So when you are cooking at a higher heat, you need this to be clarified. So you must do this. So now we're gonna add our chicken to the pan. You wanna do the nice side down first, this side, not the back side. Cause you always wanna get the good color on the nice side. All right guys, so now we're gonna to try to flip this over and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, just look at that color, it looks beautiful. Alright guys, since now this is cooked on one side for a little bit, we gotta take it out of the pan. Alright guys, so now what you want to do is we want to add our onions, our garlic, and then let those saute for a little bit, add our mushrooms, and salt and pepper, and then we're going to add our Marcellus wine to deglaze the pan with. Now that these have sauteed a little bit, now we're gonna add our mushrooms. And I let that saute for about a minute or two. And now we wanna make sure we add our salt and pepper. We're going to saute these for another minute and then we're going to add our Marcellus wine. Now to get Marcellus wine, uh, some liquor stores might have it in the cooking section and you can definitely find this in your grocery store. It's just called Marcellus wine. So what we're going to do is deglaze the pan, which means we're going to take all the flavor that's at the bottom of the pan right there and bring it up into the mushrooms. And I'll show you what I mean right here. So that is deglazing the pan. See we don't have that in the bottom no more? It's because all that flavor is right there. And we want to cook our mushrooms in that. Alright guys, so now that your mushrooms have sauteed a little bit, we want to add our chicken back into the pan so it can cook the rest of the way. You want to make sure it's in the bottom of the pan so move your mushrooms around. You put them right on top of the chicken, it'll be okay. So now we're letting it cook with it. 
So now we're gonna let these cook for about another eight to five minutes in the pan with that mushroom sauce right there. And then we'll take them back out. We'll add some more butter to it to make it into a sauce. And then we'll add our heavy cream. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. All right guys, so this chicken is just about done. I'm gonna let it sit in here for another minute. I just wanna give you guys a couple of things here. Uh, when you're cooking this, you wanna add that chicken back in there because you want that flavor to get into the chicken. You want that Marcellus wine to cook in there with your mushrooms and your onions and your garlic. And we will be finished here in a minute, but when we take the chicken out, we're gonna add our butter and our heavy cream to it, which will make our sauce. But you don't have to add the heavy cream to be your Marcellus sauce. You can just stop with the butter and call it a day. But I like it to be creamy. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right guys, so with this chicken marsalis, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take it out of the pan again and set it off to the side. And then we're gonna add some butter to it. Not our clarified butter, we're gonna add a couple pieces of butter to it. And it's gonna be two tablespoons. And the reason is we wanna make our sauce for it. And man guys, look at those mushrooms, they look beautiful. This looks delicious, guys. So, now if your pan looks like mine, add a little Marcellus wine, not too much, just a little bit to get that flavor off the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna add just about an ounce more to it. So now that we have that, now we're gonna add some butter to it. Now you don't want too high of a heat when you do this. So you wanna turn your heat down, and you add two sticks to butter. Now you must stir this constantly when you do this. You must keep stirring it and sauteing it. If you can't flip it in the pan, just use a spoon. You must stir this constantly, or it will break. You don't want that. Just keep stirring it with the butter. And this is gonna be your sauce. And you could stop here if you'd want to. I like mine a creamy sauce, so that's why I'm gonna add the heavy cream to it. But if you wanna stop here and call it good, you just add your butter, keep mixing it, and this will be your sauce. Now, let's say your sauce is looking like mine and you need it a little bit thinner. You can add more Marcellus wine to it, so it thins it out just a little bit. But you still want it to be a sauce. You don't want to add too much wine, just add maybe another ounce. So add another ounce to it. Make sure you stir it after you add it. Stir it up. And look at that guys, this looks beautiful. It looks nice, it looks delicious. And you could just add this right to the top of your chicken if you wanted to right now. But I want the heavy cream in there, because I like it creamy. So now this is the point where you'd add some heavy cream. And that's about it. We're going to do about a cup of heavy cream there. Now we can add our chicken back to this so it absorbs some of that heavy cream flavor. And what you want it to do, you want it to reduce a little bit. And what will happen is it will become more thick, more like a sauce. It won't be as runny. So you add your chicken back to it. And you let it simmer for a little bit and then we'll pull it off and plate it up. Alright guys, so now my sauce is almost ready. I'm going to let it simmer here probably for about another two minutes and it's going to be ready. This is so exciting. It looks delicious. It smells so good right now. And before you serve your sauce, make sure you try it. Wow guys, that is amazing. It tastes wonderful. It shouldn't be too salty, it should be just full of flavor. I can taste everything, it tastes delicious. I absolutely love it. Now, the reason we put our chicken back in with the heavy cream is number one, if your chicken isn't done all the way, you can cook it some more. You have an opportunity to cook it a little bit more. Number two is I just love the creaminess of it when you put it in up with some uh, heavy cream. And to know if it's done, it's called nappe. What nappe is, it can cover a back of a spoon without coming off. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you just dip your spoon in the sauce, like this, and then you hold it sideways, like this. And you can see here that it sticks to the spoon. That's called nappe consistency. That means it's a sauce now. So it's not too liquidy like it was before, and you can put it on your plate and it'll look really good and it'll cover it very nicely. So now we can plate it. 
All right guys, so what I like to do is I like to serve this whole chicken breast by itself. I don't like slicing into it because it takes away from the presentation. So you just take your chicken that you cooked and you put it on your plate. You wanna make sure you get some mushrooms on there before you put your sauce on there. So that's the whole point of it. You want that nice mushrooms on there. They're gonna taste delicious. A couple more on there. And then pour a little sauce on there to go with it. And man guys, does that just look beautiful. It turned out amazing. It smells really good. It tastes excellent. So I hope you guys make this. The only thing we can add a little bit on top is some parsley. And boy guys, does that just look amazing. I am so excited about this. I'm going to try this and it's just, I know it's going to be freaking delicious. Alright guys, that is how you make chicken marsalis. It's something simple and easy to do. And I hope you guys make this at home. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button over there. It helped me out a lot and you guys have an awesome day. <laughs>